Hey, what's up guys? Jesse here from JP Modified. I'm sorry that there has been quite a gap in between videos um, since we uploaded the last one. Uh, a lot of things have been happening and most especially or more recently, I had to uh, take my kid to or my oldest kid to the hospital for a surgery to have his appendix removed. So, you know, long story short, it's actually been a hell of a few weeks and um, here we are back to work. Uh, this week, we're going to show you a new case from Lee and Lee. It's called the Alpha 550. Sit back and enjoy the video. Through the years, Lee and Lee has always been known for their high quality aluminum cases. Their designs have been the source of inspiration to many other cases that have been made throughout the years. Recently, Lee and Lee has finally entered the broader market with their new Alpha series. Let's take a look at the Alpha 550. We have been sent the white version. The Alpha 550 comes with three of Lee and Lee's Bora RGB fans. For water cooling enthusiasts, this case will not fall short. It can hold up to two 360mm radiators in the front and in the top. It can also support a vertical GPU mount and also comes with a basement to hide hard drives, cables, and your PSUs. The front and both sides of the case is tempered glass with ample ventilation at the sides for your fan's setup. The power button and USB ports are hidden, which to me personally is what sold me to the case initially. Since we were pressed for time, instead of giving a detailed review, let's just go ahead and jump forward and show you what we did to this case.
So in this video, we used the Lian Li 550 case and the new Bora 120 fan. So they've released a few products out. Uh, we were one of the few people to first get it. Now, I know you guys noticed it on the background of my previous video. We weren't able to, you know, mention anything about that at the time because it was still under NDA. But right now, since the coast is clear and the embargo has been lifted, we can finally show you our video. There were a few changes I did, a couple of personal thoughts on what I think would have made this case better. Like, for example, the front panel. I really wasn't a fan of the black borders on the white version of the case. Now, I know that it would have looked a lot better on the black version, but on the white version, I think the, the borders kind of ruined or took away from the overall aesthetic of the case. So I changed that up and also covered up the ventilation holes on the power supply basement. But overall, the case was a joy to work with. Plenty of room at the back for cable management and also very water cooling friendly. We didn't have an extra 360 radiator at the top. The only one we had left was a thick radiator and it wouldn't have been able to fit. So we just opted to use one 360 radiator. But on other configurations, you can actually put in up to, I think, a 45 millimeter uh, radiator. At the top. So you can have two 360 radiators simultaneously on this uh, case if you want to water cool it, of course. Um, other than that, it's built like a tank. Uh, front is tempered glass. Both sides are tempered glass made out of thick steel. So quality is still there, although it's not aluminum like, you know, the traditional Lee and Lee fans. At least they stuck to keeping quality as one of their main focuses on uh, the PC. So they have a lot more cases coming up. We're going to do reviews for um, a few more of them very soon. Thank you very much. Once again, this has been Jesse of JP Modified. See you on the next video. Mod on.